hit it, us. <laughs> It's After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of their extracurricular activities. Enjoy. This week on After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Oh, it's it's straight up fairy porn. He's like, oh damn, mom, I know what you're into. Uh, I'm reviewing Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It's this hot new book. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. This young up-and-comer, Mary Shelley. I'm like, bro, turn the page. Like, get after it. Wow, this is so exciting. This is our first podcast with two guests on. Uh, Ladies, I'd love to say thank you for coming on. Uh, We have Nicola and Shannon. McNaughton? McNaughton? McNaughton. McNaughton. I know we just went over this, and I was like, I can't get this wrong. (laughs) Drop the C. Yeah, I know. I'm like just rolling through it. So I got stressed about the Mac and the (laughs) Mick. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. Shannon is on my right, Nicola is on the left, and this is a sister duo from Slow Burn Books mm-hmm. in Calgary. You guys are just in Marta Loop, yeah. right? In Very Loop? nice. Yeah. It's it is beautiful- Marta Loop. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you'll notice Ty and I bicker like a married couple, even <laughs> though uh, we've just been BFFs for a long time. But I just wanted to say how cool it was to see a local store like you guys pop up. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, I guess, while we crack our drinks. That's yeah. usually what we like to do. From we collective got- Arts today, we got the tequila paloma yeah and i know nicola you you wanted a fakie i, I commend the fakie that's good yeah. antibiotics will do that to you yeah. so <laughs> yeah like how did you guys when did you guys get in business and like mm. t- tell us about the sister the duo day of this it. store opened yeah. mariah has not stopped talking oh my God, about I it to it. me <laughs> we haven't either yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's true um so we had the idea in February 2023, which is kind of crazy. It's almost been a year since the idea formulated. Um, And Nicola had the idea and she kind of called me when I was at the gym and was like, I have this great idea. One day we should start a romance bookstore. And I was like, yeah, I know exactly where we should go because I'd been to the Henry Block before it had just opened really, or not just, but a lot of the stores were just opening. Um, And uh, like scouted around a little bit. It was snowing. I think it was family day long weekend. It was family day long weekend. Uh, Dumping snow and kind of like sussed it out and found the the um, name of the property manager and gave him a call and then we saw, saw the place like the next day <laughs> and then kind of signed the lease like after that. I yeah, it, it was just, it was such a wild journey because I have been an avid romance reader for a while now and I just, I love it. And I, I was just scrolling on TikTok and I saw, I think as one does, you know, scrolling on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And I saw just like romance bookstores opening around the world And I was just like, that's so cool. Like, I could do that. I want to do that. And then my boyfriend was like, well, why don't you just call your sister? She'd do it with you. (laughs) He's probably joking, but yeah, he probably was joking. And little little did he know. Yeah. I love that. He's like the the kin or catalyst, I suppose, for our guys' business. That's amazing. He will take all the credit. (laughs) I was trying to explain to Ty, um, like, how it was a fantasy or, sorry, just a romance Mm -hmm. kind of house if you will of novels but he thinks that like he likes to make fun of me for how (laughs) passionate i am about the sjm like Mm, fan verse and like he calls them fantasy erotica and i'm like let me read some of them oh it's it's straight up fairy porn it is it is it is fairy porn (laughs) but i feel like for you guys to do just romance a lot of people don't understand all the subgenres of romance and like is erotica a bad term? <laughs> no, it is it is like it is its own classification, I would say, underneath right. romance because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we were saying that Nora Roberts was erotica as well because our parents, oh. our, our moms, <laughs> loved Nora Roberts. I was reaching, I was grasping for examples oh, for him and I was yeah. like, And then hey. I was like, oh my God, my mom loves those books. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, like, he's like, oh damn, mom, I know what you're into. But yeah, yeah like uh, the romance, like, like I said, it has such a massive umbrella. So how do you guys source your books and like how many different genres do you have? Mm-hmm. I know I've been in the store mm-hmm. multiple times, but um, for somebody who maybe isn't as much of an admin reader, or we we're trying to get them into romance. <laughs> yes. like, explain yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, we touch on probably just, there's so many, you can get so like narrow with how, like how many different subgenres there are. But for us, we carry contemporary fantasy, young adult, uh, sports romance is an emerging subgenre, uh, dark romance, which is kind of like contemporary romance, but with the darker themes, more like the 
bad guy gets the girl. Mm-hmm. Um, murder. 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 We live <laughs> for yeah. it. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we also carry monster romance mm-hmm. as well, which is a great which is one. a great one. Yeah. Ooh, I think <laughs> Paranormal. I gotta get into that. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Ice Planet Barbarians. It's your gateway drug. Yeah. New addiction. What is it called? So- <laughs> Ice Planet Barbarians? Ice Planet <laughs> Barbarians. I cannot fathom this. Like, <laughs> like, picture, like, Hitchhiker's Guide with aliens and, like, sure. and like lots of spice. This is lots made for you. You yeah. could get into this. Yes. Yeah. He was dying. She always says the word spice to it. I'm like, but that's the common, I'm like just call it what it is. The TikTok yeah. term, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, what have you read? What have you read? I read a lot of autobiographies, and I brought in a book to talk about. Oh, my God. I love it. Frankenstein. Okay, that would be monster romance yeah. if there was a. I mean, 100%. like there is a little bit of romance. Yeah, exactly. In there. You've had this bookmarked on page fucking eight for like a year. I'm like, bro, turn the page. Like, get after it. It's a good table of contents on there. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. So okay, yeah. lots of genres, lots which of is zone. which is yeah. very cool. What are you finding people are coming in most for right now? Um, I yeah, that. no, I think I think fantasy right now, like romanticy, is the biggest. Mm seller just like you said sjm and her third book that just came out in the crescent city series and just like it's just become like there's such a resurgence and i feel like everyone is talking about it now and like a lot of the interviews we've done in the in the most recent couple of weeks have been about romanticy so it's just yeah, yeah it's a big seller also dark is a huge seller yes. which nicole loves to push mostly because i push it on yeah. everyone i'm like hey she's like this is my comfort read and it's like the, like it's the darkest so dark. book and i'm like she was reading one about like a stalker <laughs> yeah. okay i Ooh. just i'm almost finished haunting Adelaide. oh, oh my, god. my god that's her comfort read no oh, no, no yeah <laughs> i love it, it. it is. wait are you on haunting or hunting not hunting oh. i'm on haunting so I okay. Sorry, there, part of my friends. There, yeah, there, I I just explained okay. to them <laughs> yeah. the gunplay oh, pussy yeah. scene. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I wasn't prepared. I had no. my friends explain to me, and I was like, I had to set down the fucking book yeah. and bring over my fiance. I was like, read this shit. Read like, it? look at what is in there. And then she comes to work the next day, and it's like, and you too. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad though, but it's like yes. you're you're torn. It's like a yeah. car crash scene you can't yeah. look away from mm-hmm. with these styles of novels, yeah. right? Like you're like, I love it, but it's fucking weird. Why am I why am I wanting to turn yeah. the page it's so more? true. And I always tell people I'm like, check the trigger warnings. Mm-hmm. Um but <laughs> if you don't have any triggers, have fun. Because <laughs> you've been for a while. I picture crash. you reading this like chapter or like a portion of that book and then taking your Frankenstein to the bathroom and like crying. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> we've uh, we've dialed in. Yeah. Tyler. He's Straight like he's not denying it. it. So. What, are, what are some of the uh, the challenges of running this bookstore? Ooh. That's what I'd like to know. Pivoting all the time. So much pivoting. Um, well, I think our biggest challenge is just, you know, we are such a small store, and so. And, but we have so many books. And we're also the second story with no elevator. <laughs> so, well, the elevator works now. Oh, the elevator works now. Yay. Oh but, like, still, it's There's not There's no really, storage in the back. That's no an storage. after hours exclusive. The elevator now works. <laughs> yes, yeah, it works now. Woo-hoo. We broke well, that. Yeah. <laughs> but our deliveries don't go through the front, so they go through no. the back. And so there's no elevator. A lot of stairs. So, like, I did not realize that I'd be carrying 50-pound boxes worth of books on the daily mm-hmm. um so i think yeah, that's, that's a, a challenge. challenge yeah <laughs> getting yeah. ripped yeah how, how many is this the third book mariah mm-hmm. yeah the third of the it's a three-part series yes. like this author has okay. quite a few she how, has this is a big book how yeah. many of these did you order it we ordered 150 150 yes did and you burn through them all like Sorry? Did you burn through them all? Sorry, there's some yeah. street racing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, and we already reordered, so yeah. yeah. When I saw you guys bring wow. in the order and it came in on a pallet, oh, yeah. oh my God. <gasps> that was I, just, I thought, because what, your store has got to be a thousand square it's feet? It's 200 square feet. No, it's 200, oh my God. It's 200 okay, square feet. Like, this is generous. Like three times the size of our <laughs> yeah. store. Oh my God. <laughs> this would be a dream. Yeah. Well, I'm like, I know you guys are obviously going to sell yeah. it so fast, but yeah. the, the demand must be there. And then you guys have all these people probably packed in your store. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Well, luckily, like a hundred of them were for the event that we had. Okay. The midnight release party. Um, but so then, yeah, the rest were for the store and for pre-orders yeah. and things. So mm-hmm. you should yeah, have what? been at that midnight I know. release oh. party. I know, but I thought it'd be irresponsible. I would have gone with you like, for that one. Oh, we you should have. Next I know. Time. I know. Yeah, she's. 
because Sarah J. Mass has um, actually, I think it's six or seven books that she's got in the works that she's like agreed to. Yes. So, I mean, people are going to be asking for midnight release parties for all of her books. So we'll have at least six or seven more. I was just going to say, <laughs> that, you have events that is not for forever. Decided upon yet. <laughs> Jen's okay. like, no. So the midnight release party, <laughs> yes. like for somebody, like, let me try and explain well, to you. I, this Mariah, was... this is going to shock you. I've been to a, a video game midnight release Ooh. party. This is the <laughs> Grand Theft Auto <laughs> of fucking novels. It was uh, okay? Mass Effect. Oh, oh nice. Yes, it has some yes. romance in it. Yeah, I know. Cool. I watched my boyfriend play that scene. I was like, whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, so you I'm know. trying to get around the Baldur's Gate. <laughs> yeah. Scene. He will get into Baldur's Gate later because he has questions about the parallels of these types of stories. <gasps> but um, <laughs> when you guys did this release party, because obviously that's in a slightly different wheelhouse and just running the bookstore. How did that come about? Tell us how it went and, and what you did. Yeah, so I think it actually started uh, last year when this really popular other romantic series came out, Fourth Wing. And yes, I know you know that one uh, by Rebecca <laughs> Yaros. And her second book in the series, Iron Flame, came out November 7th. And we were in chats with our, our sales reps um, from a warehouse. And she's like, you know, you guys should you guys should put on a midnight release party. It's like it's got like Harry Potter level fandom, but for adults. And we're like, that's a great idea. And then and then we did. <laughs> yeah. So and then and then it was the expectation. They're like, every time there's a big book coming out, like midnight release party. <gasps> So is it just like lineups out the door? Um, no, the... because our, well, because our store is so small and because it's like winter time, we want to do something off site. So we've hosted the last two ones at Wild Rose Brewery because uh, nice. they have a great venue in the back that can mm. like. Have you been there that all the barracks? It's like empty. If it's oh. is it that like hangar? People. Yeah, yeah, it's the hangar. Yeah, yeah. Nice. it's cool. Yeah. And the the whole entire back um, can be like for private events wow. and can fit up to like a hundred ish people. And like two or three bartenders for you, and, and they'll mix your beers. Yeah, yeah. your right. cocktails. Exactly. Say no more. Take my money. And yeah, I'll be like, a cater. And one. yeah, it's good. yeah. And it's so fun. They've been so accommodating with our crazy requests. Like the first midnight release party, we did like friendship bra uh, bra bracelet bracelet making. And there's beads everywhere. Beads everywhere. And it was so much fun. And then for this last one, we decided to do like a painting. Oh, yeah, like a little paint night? A little paint um, night. Yes. Paint everywhere. <laughs> Okay, but that's... Was paint safe around the books? Uh, uh, well, the we... books were not near the table. <laughs> yeah, the books were like <laughs> off were to the thinking? side. You have to wash your hands before you can get them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Holy, well, I think that's incredible. Obviously, it sounds like success, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But funny. I mean, yeah. people, I saw the the TikToks. Your guys' TikTok is popping off, by the way. I Thank love you. it. That's all Nicola. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you, guys, you guys are killing it. Like, you're reaching so many people. Thanks, Even my friends, thanks. like, we're from Edmonton, actually, but oh, we've okay. been yeah. living here for about two years now. Yeah. I've had girlfriends send me TikToks, been like, how? have you gone to this store? Do you shop there? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And it's like, there's a wine tap as yeah. well, you guys. Yes. I do a little oh wine and read. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty sweet. There's so much in there. It's, it's so awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like their radio show, but in podcast form. If you're just joining us, uh, Nicola and Shannon from Slow Burn Books. Thank you, ladies. It's a sister duo here, which is my next question I wanted to ask you about. My parents own a business with my uncle. I know that working with family can be stress have you guys been bffs the whole time or have I we had honestly, some yeah like for wear? it's yeah. so funny we growing up did not get along like we call them the fighting years um <laughs> 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 until i think i was what we were i think i was like 24 25 and I, yeah i was like right? 22 23 yeah. and um and then it just kind of like flipped and we've kind of been yeah. best friends. I think and... it helped that I left for school and yeah. I wasn't in, in, in Alberta for school. Okay. Neither mm -hmm. was Nicola. And um, neither was I, yeah. So we got some space from each other. Yeah. Been <laughs> sleeping next door to each other for the first 18 years of our lives. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sisters, right? Yeah. But yeah. I think it is nice. Like I can't, I honestly cannot imagine doing this with anyone else because I feel like even the tough the conversations, conversations that we've had, like uh -huh. I feel like it's better because we're family and I can be like truly honest. honest. Maybe too honest sometimes. But you love me. I have cried three times today. Oh, <laughs> I'm, just I'm just joking. That's so mean. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. We're family. Oh, just once. That. I only made her cry once. Do you get, is, is the, is slow burn your full time thing right now? Yes. It is. Yeah. Wow. That is I know. Yes. Good job Congrats. on you guys. Um, so I quit my real job in June, <laughs> my real job in June last year. Um, and then. How'd you quit? 
I I torched the <laughs> You're like Molotov no, cocktail. I gave, I gave a month notice. <laughs> Very respectful. Oh. Um, and then yeah, then Nick gave her notice in December. No, no, right? I no, sorry, I, I gave my notice actually yeah. in September. Yeah, but my I I honestly I truly loved where I worked. It was mm-hmm. a mark just a small marketing agency, um, uh, and it just was you know so much fun and he was so flexible letting me do the Your bookstore boss. and yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything. So I want to be, yeah, you know, they were, they were great. Yeah. yeah. So I gave them four months and then I left at the end of December. Yeah. So wow. yeah. that is very like inspiring for anybody who's yeah. thinking about taking a, a leap of faith into mm-hmm. running their own business mm-hmm. and something as cool as like a bookstore. Mm-hmm. What did you do before Shannon? Uh, I was in oil and gas. Oh like wow. Okay. So a bit, of a, bit of a change, yeah. bit of a shift. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I feel like a lot of the skills, weirdly are transferable in terms of like Mm -hmm. some of the accounting stuff I've done, some of like the business development and just general, yeah, general on the job knowledge, I guess. But, um, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's that's impressive, honestly. And it's Mm -hmm. nice to know that you can Mm -hmm. get different joys from your job by going and going to something that you, you want to do or that you don't know about mm-hmm. and you just learn along the way, I think, right? Exactly, so yeah. We actually have to give a talk on Friday at MRU <gasps> to some <gasps> wow. students, students about entrepreneurship. We're like, uh-oh, we have to think about what... Can I say what, what lessons we, we've learned? Can I say what we're like? What we want to say? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. To us. I don't know what you're going to say. No, I'm just like it's like it's like ed- I don't know. It's like the right format to go into a school and be like, school means nothing. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they don't invite me around exactly. to talk to students. No, I mean it means something. But I think at the same time we like we were talking we're like, well, what do we want to mm. say? I'm like, honestly, it's the experience like, of working. The experience of working is what is really going to give you those like life ex- like yeah. lessons but yeah. yeah like I like I did my MBA a couple of years ago but I feel like wow. I learned more <laughs> just working than <laughs> I did in school well like it's kind of weird but yeah. Yeah. And I think that's nice for people to hear like the transparency of it like I'm sure mm-hmm. you've learned so much in this year that mm-hmm. you guys have been in business and yeah. and yeah all these events and mm-hmm. you're working with a completely different product than you were before well, obviously sure. yeah, right exactly. so yeah um now i guess i have a question you look like you have a question that you want to oh, i just want to know what are the big books coming out Ooh. what are the big hot ones we just had this one drop uh, do you guys have like a <laughs> is there like a summer ones. blockbuster of books oh honestly as soon as you said i'm like <laughs> it's gone from my mind there, there's a lot we're excited for and i can't remember any of them um i think one that i'm really excited for she's actually an alberta author oh, yeah. um Ooh. it's coming out april 9th and it's called wild love by elsie silver is that your author name no, <laughs> I would love to take credit for that. No, I'm just kidding. No, is that your author? Yeah, yeah you're like I also am an author. <laughs> Plugging my book. Plugging my own book. No. Yeah. Jeez. Um, but she writes like small town western romance. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. You might have have you it's heard? Quite of spicy. I feel like I've heard of this because the yeah. second you said small town western, I've seen like a list of Alberta authors yes. that have kind of written to the yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like the climate that we're in in Alberta and I think I think with some of the sports authors too like oh, yeah you would die if you see oh some of these God. books about like the girl like the puck bunny oh romance God. life oh and yes. so all the hockey players have dick piercing <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> like what? all of them no okay so we had a an event on December 3rd we had a hockey night in Calgary event we had two sports romance authors who both wrote hockey romance um, with us and independently they both wrote characters that had like Jacob Ladders Jacob, and like Jacob's Ladders, <laughs> Jacob's Ladders yeah <laughs> and Shannon, again, we were on stage with them, like hosting, and Shannon just was like, "Why?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "How did this happen?" <laughs> How like, did this happen? independently. <laughs> so, it sounds yeah. like you guys do like a lot of like PR events and stuff yeah, too. Like, you like, guys, are you guys about to start your own podcast? Oh, you guys would God. kill it. I'm like, I will yeah. listen to that. I think yeah. one time we we're like, "Yeah, slow burn podcast," and then we like drowned under the weight of actually owning this business. <laughs> yeah. So maybe in the future, <laughs> maybe it would be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like I was like, I want nothing <gasps> more. I would be like your number one <laughs> subscriber. I um, I'm curious is like doing the shift with the the bookstore how did you understand to come about like ordering books sourcing out authors mm-hmm. like I would have no idea where to start with that it's such a unique business yeah, model TikTok, I'm like right? yeah, yeah so I mean it was a lot of like baptism by fire for sure <laughs> um but like in terms of like knowing which books to bring in it's Obviously, you're on TikTok, uh, and book talk is a huge like subculture within that community. And so, 
uh, we yeah like TikTok is one of our number one ways to know like if a book is trending and all that stuff to bring it in. Um, now that we are set up with all like you know different publishers and whatnot, we also get um, sales reps telling us the the books that are coming up and whatnot. And so we do get a lot of that. I see um, your dream job. Oh yeah, God. the insider yeah. trading man. I'd be like that early yes, CC three right. order. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> and then we do like we also have like um, add to our TBR, so add to our to be read form on our website. So a lot of our customers will like add what they want to see us bring into the store. Oh. Um, and so uh, and just even talking with people um, once, uh, for example, like Fourth Wing, that really really popular book that came out last year. We had two people independently tell us about the book. Um, when it came out because it was our opening week and we just weren't thinking about new titles or anything. And they're like, yeah, there's this really popular book on TikTok called Fourth Wing. We're like, oh, cool. So we brought in four copies. And we're like, oh, and they sold out in a day. And we're like, oh, we'll, we'll order more. Sold out for two months. We couldn't get it in for two wow. months after that because it was wow. so popular. So See, it's like, it's hard when you're not yeah. used to working retail. It's yeah. truly yeah. retail, right? And yeah. And like inventory yeah. management and just like, the d like lead time for deliveries and just like everything you have to think about. We learned it's a lot again, of, like, yeah, it's a lot of trial learning. and error. Yeah. And then we have one, like the snow falls and then your delivery gets delayed by like a week yeah. and a half. Yeah. It snows <laughs> in Nashville and your deliveries can't make it here. So. <laughs> yeah. Does it ever do like a book pre-order? Do people go to you to pre-order a book? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Depending on like the, how big the book is, we will set up pre-orders for those books ahead of time. Otherwise we'll just bring them in on their release mm. days. And, See, yeah. like I'm mad. Yeah. I like an idiot before I moved <laughs> here, pre-ordered this oh, yeah. on Amazon before I knew about you guys. Did and you? then I was like, God damn like I gotta get to these smaller bookstores All like good. We'll yeah. get you next time <laughs> I feel like you guys are absolutely killing it though in like the game of um conglomerate like the chapters and the indigos mm -hmm. and such like do you feel like you're kind of seeing more people join into like supporting smaller bookstores mm -hmm. and stuff like that or like refurbished books something yeah. like that yeah. yeah no for sure I think um I mean we've had customers tell us that the selection that we have is um you more know, diverse in more terms of romance. Yeah, right? more diverse in, t in terms of romance. We just have more variety. And we just, yeah, we'll bring in, we also specialize in bringing like independent authors mm -hmm. versus only traditionally published authors. And, you know, anything that we have, any like they can order too, but it's just a matter of them choosing not to bring it in. Not to bring stores. in like Haunting Adeline, for instance, oh, yeah. to their store. <laughs> Is it like a. Yeah breweries like are you guys friends with other small bookstores yeah yeah we are like we like um i'm not sure if you guys have heard of found books in um cochrane? in cochrane yeah. yeah i have heard yeah, of that they're I've so lovely on tiktok yeah yeah, yeah yep. exactly no they're great their tiktok is amazing yeah, yeah. see that's yeah. cool because yeah. i think it's like their strength and numbers obviously like you you're both selling books but mm -hmm. it's like if you can create awareness for going to mm -hmm. smaller stores if you will on a smaller mm -hmm. scale like makes people feel good and like exactly yeah. get a much better vibe walking into yeah. your yeah. like we this don't is the yeah Beyond's that I want. Yeah. Totally. And we don't want to give it away, but we are planning something for, oh my goodness. for independent bookstore day. Oh, but no. oh my yes. God. <laughs> I've just wow. got to figure out how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Teaser <laughs> of the year. I love that. <laughs> April 27th. <laughs> oh. Put it in your calendar. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, 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 down. I know oh, it goes down. I'm like, I'm going to make this great. I just keep seeing, because we share an email, and I just keep seeing emails come in and out of my inbox. I'm like, oh, oh, we're doing this. Okay. <laughs> we doing that is just crazy. I absolutely love that for you guys. Thank like you. The fact yeah. that you can just now like navigate this world yeah. and it's taken over your lives. Yeah. But obviously a good, yeah. a good change, it sounds like. Yeah. It. I love yeah. that. It has been. Yeah. Um, I guess I wanted to ask you guys. I won't ruin oh. the CC3. Yes. But usually what Ty and I do on our podcast is uh, towards this time, yes. we like to do like a product review of the week. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yes, that's right. And uh, usually it's dumb stuff like the Caucasaurus. <laughs> um, we thought we would bring our books on oh, and, and have a little book club that's combo. Fun. If we, we will. Darn, we should have brought ours. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <okay>. missed opportunity. <laughs> that <laughs> Elsie Silver book. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Ty, I feel like as the least advent reader, we should we should get you to to review your to review what I read. So eight, eight pages. pages. <laughs> I do read. I read autobiographies. Oh, so. very good. Nice. Like, uh, I am excited for one. You guys probably aren't getting it in. I don't think there's as much <laughs> spice not. in it. What? Um, Which one? It's a comedian's oh. book. Yeah. Oh, and he's not the most spicy comedian. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> okay. so it's Paul Shears. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, should we say it's Mariah and Ty's review of the, of the week? week? So Logan knows <laughs> to put it in. 
It's time for Mariah and Ty's review of the week. Sounds really cool once the podcast is <laughs> put together. Yeah. It seems yeah. like we're cheesy now. But <laughs> sounds good after. Just wait. Uh, I'm reviewing Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It's this hot new book. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it. This young up and comer, Mary Shelley. <laughs> uh, Isn't she dead? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. She's definitely dead. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my yes. Is that the joke? Oh, my <laughs> God. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mary Shelley's like the first like, science fiction. <laughs> Okay, nice. You're just like, nice. It's <laughs> hurt. Uh, as you can feel, see, I got up to letter three. There's a series of letters that start this book. And uh, it's definitely in some ye old English. Mm. <laughs> really slowing me down. Really Does slowing me down. Does it remind you of uh, reading Shakespeare in, in high school? I used to have to read Shakespeare like three times over and over yeah. and over again because I'm like, what did that even say? Oh, yeah. spark notes. That was my go-to. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. so, yeah. I feel like we're all like the same. Is there same spark notes on these books? Yeah. Um... I don't know. Spark notes still a thing? Oh, those, oh my god, is it know. a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, is now it's just chat GPT. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, 24, yeah. so I don't know. You're, not, you're, you're fucking 24. 24. Oh, no, like you. <laughs> no, you've had a hard life. Plus 10. We can all say our ages. No, Ty <laughs> turned 30 this year. I'm 28. Oh, I'm turning oh, 29 in a couple young. months. So. Oh, to be that I young. What? You're 34. <laughs> Sad. I thought you guys were like 29, 30. Wait, I am I 31. What? I'm 31. Okay. Wow. Shannon, so, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm t- taking away from your time. No, no, no. Uh, we no. have ample time. You know what? Trust it's me. Fine, yeah. <laughs> Shannon and I like to gaslight each other on how old we are. Yeah. So whenever it's like our birthdays, we always say like, oh, happy like 32nd or 34th. I just, I just tell her she's older than she Yeah, is. She exactly. So I while. was trying to, this, you just turned 34. Yeah. And so I was trying to be like plus one year, just make her like think that she's older. Like, oh, happy 35th birthday. Except for I said, happy 34th birthday. Yeah. And then you're like, thanks. It is my 34th birthday. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, Nailed you're it. old. You're like, <laughs> oh, I meant it to be a yeah, burn. Exactly. But it was so it's almost life. even a better burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, sorry. No, I love that. <laughs> Mary Shelley, uh, 227. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, did a quick Google. Is that there. what you yeah. had to do the math? Or you didn't yeah, that's what I was doing, a little math there. <laughs> I wasn't able to do it off the top of my head. So what are you giving your eight eight yeah. pages, uh, pages so far? Are. I've been reading eight out of ten. I think I I think I'll really get through this. I think I can do it. Wow. Cool. What is there? Uh, like only two hundred pages in this book? I can rock that. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, you've been working on this hey, yeah. for a year? <laughs> a year? Oh, um, I was going to say, well, what's your reading goal? Bob Odenkirk's <laughs> book came out, and then that just did, like, stopped me. So. And that was a good one. He's been reading another Shaun of the Dead book, right? Oh, oh, I've been reading the Shaun of the Dead like retelling the- for, oh. like, it's a story about the making of the movie. Yeah. And it's, mm. it's taking a while. Oh. <laughs> If well, it doesn't bring you joy, you gotta let it go. Yeah, yeah you gotta get into a real page turner. I like it. It's yeah. just that I would rather do other things sometimes. You can yeah. knock somebody out with this book. Yeah, like it's a brick. <laughs> um, what okay. is that? Like a whole tree? Actually, oh, I, I wanted to see the page count, but I didn't want to like flip to the. Oh, back I know. And don't do it. It's yeah, dangerous like, to do obviously, that. Obviously, like yeah. the last book. Yeah. You want me to check? No she chance. wouldn't let me touch that book today. <laughs> well, I mean, like, she's like, your greasy hands. And I was like, what Were you the like, hell? We touch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but, like, I got gifted. Um, so the, the way I got back into reading, mm-hmm. like, again, really intensely was my sister-in-law. She was big SJM fan from, mm-hmm. like, years ago. Because, like, Akatar came out like, in, like, 2013. Mm. A while ago. Yeah. While. And, and her, she's got the Throne of Glass series, yes. too. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. And so she was like, dude, I read Akatar a long time ago, and then she got into it again, mm-hmm. reread it when CC1 was coming out. Mm-hmm. She's like, this is the twilight of my late 20s. And I was like, <laughs> shut up. Give me the books now. So I yes. I just got into them, and I loved it. And yeah. then I felt like that jump-started my reading kick again. Yeah. Um, I will say, do a last chapter reread of CC because uh, yeah. this book yeah. literally picks up as if you were turning over to Are the you next serious? chapter. Yes. What is Thank the full goodness. name of this book? Crescent City, House of Flame and Shadow. So is there supposed to be another one after well, this? Well, I'm assuming because there's four houses, That's right? what I mean. Because yeah. you'd have to have the House of Many Waters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Would, and uh, yeah. like, go on, go on Reddit. I agree. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You have to do it. You just have to. Sarah J. Moss, you got to do it. <laughs> oh you can't have four houses and then only have. But I, I did crack open the, that book just to like see what the first page. And I was like, I don't know what this character is. I need to go back and read that's, these. Like, that's what I again. mean. 
I'll send you a post. Yeah. I'll they, Instagram oh, DM yes, you. So please, this yeah. this account that I follow on Reddit, and I feel like Reddit's good because they're not spoiling mm-hmm. like how TikTok yeah. people just like word just, vomit, yeah. and I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like yeah. so people haven't read. One hundred percent. But they give a. It's basically just like a um sh- like a. Excel spreadsheet, if you will, done up all pretty of the characters, oh. who they are, where they left off, yeah. the houses, and like, oh, please, that would be, amazing. yeah, it is alive still. Yes, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah. I forgot about how this ended in the plot twist. So, yeah. so far, I'm giving this book Avi a 10 out of 10. It's just, yes. it's action packed oh. already. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Exciting. You're so, you're just I'm, three, I'm man. rereading <laughs> Akatar and I'm starting House of Earth, Sky and Breath. Again, like rereading them. Smart. Because it's just so much. Like, I forgot so much. I heard, I saw on TikTok that you haven't read Throne of Glass yet. Oh, me? No, I have. Oh, have you? Well, no. Okay, so well, I... The Order. The Order. Yeah, the Order. Get her started. <laughs> yes, no, she I will. explain to Ty the <laughs> debacle here online because yeah. the, the fan base is insane. Like, yes. basically... Um, These books that were written, there's an earlier series, and two of the books out of, like, ten books are supposed to be read in tandem, if you will. You told me about this. (laughs) Yes. I've heard, I feel like you could give me a quiz on these books, (laughs) and I think I would pass. I don't know if I get 100%, but I think I would at least get a passing grade. But people, like, came for you guys on TikTok. I was like, what the fuck? Well, it was, okay, so the tandem read was more just, like like, a curious question that, I wanted to know because I actually, so I read the Throne of Glass series up until Empire Storms when you're supposed to do the tandem read with Empire Storms and Tower of Dawn. Yes. I tabbed it all out. I tabbed the books. I was like, I was going to do it. And then I just looked at it and I was like, "Uh, I'm I'm fucking scared. And so I was like, I'll come back to that. And it's been two years. So I have not come back to that actually. Um, But where people really got heated and passionate was when I asked about the reading order between do you start with Throne of Glass, which is publication order or do you start with assassin's blade which is um like chronological order yes. Yes. no yes. assassin's blade shannon it is assassin's blade i heard like <laughs> one means you have more appreciation for the characters i think it's assassin's blade yeah it gives you more of an emotional gut punch and if you just want to be like sad and just like cry then do that one yeah <laughs> we'll agree to disagree like many things in our life <laughs> yeah wow well when you guys finally get I know you're busy, obviously, <laughs> running the business, but when you get, like, an unbothered eight hours, um, <laughs> which I've had to tell my fiancé, I'm like, get on Call yeah. of Duty. I'm reading. <laughs> Fuck God, off. I wish. I know, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think Ten we might time. have to wrap it. I think th- these cameras are dying. Are they dying? <laughs> no. Sam, are those cameras dying? You go to break. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. After Hours. Diving a little deeper into the world of Mariah and Ty. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> you guys see the high quality uh, budget that we have for our podcast here. But um, yeah, just wrapped up my book review. 10 out of 10. Like I said, guys, uh, Nicola and Shannon, when you when you get a chance to read, sit oh. down, give it a go. Yeah. Um, and I guess I know you guys probably don't have a product to review, but. <laughs> Do you have any books you want to shout out? Yeah. That you lately? One that we read recently? Yeah. Or anything, well, you know, just yes. shout out anything okay. that you should recommend. Any, any event or anything you have coming up? Oh, actually. Um, oh, actually. Well, actually. So, Shen is going to love this. So, on February 24th, um, we are partnering with WordFest, which is an organization um, that puts on, like, talking engagements with authors and we Shannon is actually hosting the event um good for she's you. Uh, gonna be so f- she's gonna kill it she's gonna crush I'm it I'm gonna kill it yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the event is with Daniel L. Jensen who's actually another uh she's a Calgarian romance author that she writes fantasy as well mm. and this is a Norse inspired fantasy uh it's forbidden romance um one horse trope one horse trope mm. dirty talk banter uh forbidden love uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. And so tickets are on sale for that right now. Don't laugh. Yeah. These are, at me. These are so checking off the boxes. He doesn't get it. He I doesn't know. get the He's lingo. like, what is dirty talk and banter? It's the <laughs> whole part. It's like everything. You guys, I've played Baldur's Gate 3. Okay? I know things. <laughs> but like the, the cool thing is that we're getting to actually do this uh, event before the book comes out because it comes out on the 27th. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, strict on sale. But this... Penguin is letting us do this early oh. with with Danielle. And mm-hmm. yeah, so I get to interview her and talk about her new book. Ugh. Sorry, I <laughs> sorry Garfield. No, sorry. <laughs> Scared me again. Um, and then the the books are uh, blue, blue, blue foiled. foiled edges. <gasps> yeah, it's so gorgeous. Pretty. And we just saw the, the package ship and it's like 14 boxes of like 
big box. We were also so ordering 140, actually yeah. 150 copies. 150 copies. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get in on that, I think. Yes. What is what is your guys' uh, social medias and accounts Ooh. to shout out so we make yes. sure we get that out there? Uh, so our Instagram is slightly different than our TikTok. So our Instagram is slowburn.booksyyc because they don't let you put burn books next to each other. Oh, <laughs> yes. They flag it. Yeah. 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 They're like, yeah. not allowed. Um, and then our TikTok is slowburnbooksyyc. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very incredible. You yeah. guys were an absolute <laughs> pleasure to have on and just Thank obviously you. filled my little geek fest <laughs> yeah. of everything. So congrats on all your Thank success. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for having Podcast us. Podcast I know is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, um, seriously. <laughs> I would love to come on and just shoot the shit. I don't she know wants if to I could... join the podcast that hasn't even <laughs> yeah. been made yet. Look yeah. at that. That's how good you did. But could you imagine like how oh many God. like women like I've seen a couple yeah. different podcasts mm-hmm. come out about books fantasy specifically podcast yeah. and it's like people just love having a world that they can escape to totally. outside of their jobs yeah. right mm-hmm. like and talk about it with other people i know and that's why yeah. i think it's so exciting about like the book community in calgary and is just now that we have a physical store it's bringing people together um and because for myself like i literally i would read these books and i'm like cool now what like I don't yeah. have anyone to talk to about these books yeah. except on TikTok except on TikTok <laughs> and it was fun. and I love that I've great made some really amazing connections with people all around the world but it's nice to have those like in person connections too. and we started book club finally this year um, which yeah. has been fun but only 20 people at a time and it, it gets sold out quite quickly so it's hard to meet the demand because I feel like everyone wants to come but we don't have enough space so mm-hmm. yeah but that's hey. been fun hey that's a good problem yeah. to have yeah. Yeah. that is awesome yeah well, I guess uh, the last time. thing we say is how we feel about our drinks. Yeah. You just and Nicola, what did you guys think of them? I liked it. It's herby and fresh. Yes. Mine was refreshing. <laughs> was what did you good. have for your fakie? I didn't even know. I had know. the mellow mojito. Wow. And I would definitely drink this again. Can I try it? Yeah, go ahead. Tradesies. Mm-hmm. I give. I actually really like this. I don't really like tequila, and I thought this was good. Mm-hmm. Ten out of ten. So. Oh, we're doing numbers. Oh, shit, oh, you oh, don't sorry. have ten. Depending on whatever scale you want. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve. Five. Twelve out of twelve. Nice. <laughs> twelve like out of twelve. Ty, uh, uh, seven out of ten. Hmm. Well, I liked it. It was good. That's it for all. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, and we'll wave bye to our camera. I got some bye. reading to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do. Bye. 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 Oh my oh, god. My god. <laughs> You've been listening to After Hours with Mariah and Ty. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of After Hours with Mariah and Ty downloaded weekly to whatever device you use.